In fact, I'm the only person in Kenya who has coached both the Kenya 7s and Kenya 15s. Actually, I started off in Form 1 as the Baby Colts captain. I started rugby and I was appointed the captain of the Baby Colts. On April 17, 2016, Kenyans erupted into celebrations after the Kenya Sevens team secured its first main cup title in Singapore. The seeds planted by self-styled rugby apostle Mike Tank Otieno, who took up the initiative to spread the game to grassroots levels, had finally germinated. Mike Tangutino rugby journey started at Alliance Boys High School, where a friend convinced him to ditch soccer for rugby. Soon as he joined rugby, he was appointed captain of the junior team before being named the captain of the main team at sixth form, leading Alliance to a first ever John Andrew Sevens title, courtesy of a 26 4 win over RVA. Jack Coyne, my coach, had it over the radio. The Alliance had won John Andrews Sevens, you know. He actually came to look for me in the dome. The principal, the late Jackson Gidaiga, the Alliance at that time, convened a special assembly and rewarded us the medals and the trophies. His impressive skills at the wing and fullback position would soon earn him a spot in the non desired FC squad of 1979 before having a short stop over at KU's Black Blood RFC. Tank, as is famous and known in the rugby circles, joined Momba RFC where he played his rugby until 1990 when he hung his boots. So around 88, 89 when I noticed that now actually my form was dipping, I looked at it and said, look, there is more to the game beyond just playing. His coaching career started as soon as he hung his boots. In 1998, he was appointed the Kenya Sevens head coach leading the team between 1998 and 2000 before taking a two-year break. I now uh, became the under-23 trainer. I even rose to the level of the Kenya team, but training as a trainer, as a fitness guy. And I went through the whole spectrum and then I was appointed the Kenya coach, Sevens. The first game I was not really in charge, I was called to go and watch. They actually were playing Black Blood. Black Blood had also been just promoted to whatever. So I went to watch and they were beaten by Black Blood. He led KCB rugby to three consecutive Kenya Cup titles before receiving call up to the National 15th team where he led the team to be ranked 31st in the world. His coaching skills transformed the 15th side team to a rugby force in the continent winning the Elgon Cup and Victoria Cup and beaten in 2010 before winning the Median Africa Cup in 2011. While at Kenyatta University, the former Kenya 15th and Kenya 7th coach teamed up with Max Munia for another rugby players of KU's class of 1984. With the name of spreading the game to grassroots levels, they agreed that the vehicle to take them up country would be named Damupevu. That Kenyan rugby resembles a child who is growing, who has grown from the waist. Can you imagine a child who's grown from the waist and is now trying to find its legs? Oyu, Oyu's got wheels. Oyu's got serious wheels. Oyu, 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 Oyu goes the length! There can only be one champion and it is Kenya! The Kenyan team that won the Singapore 7 title consisted of only two players from the old school rugby powerhouses, ten of the players being as a result of Michael Tank's Damupevu initiative. Peter Mwaura, legend of the game, KUTV. <laughs>